I'm Kirsty Mickey from Nail Nails. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a marbled nail. I don't mean like marbles, as in, you know, you play marbles. What's that game? Uh, <laughs> no, <I'm> not, <laughs> it escaped you. <laughs> marbled effect nails using the sharpie and we're going to put a little bit of metallic in there as well i'm going to show you chip 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 so i've already got a nail clearly because i'm not putting it on anything else i'm putting it on a nail and we have a ballerina shaped nail i'm gonna use white on from the urban graffiti gel polish range now i'm going to go straight on with this i don't need to put a base on or anything because i'm applying it directly on the top of the acrylic if you were doing this on a natural nail, then you would definitely need to put the Urban Graffiti base on. But because this is a nail extension, we can go straight in with the colour. Which, if you think about it, reduces the time down when you're doing it on a client. And also, you don't need another product. You're going to flip your hair. Back and forth. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pop that into the lamp. We're going to give that two coats. Second coat of colour. This is going to make it really opaque. You're better doing thin layers, two thin layers, rather than one thick, heavy layer. The reason for that is. If you do thick layers, you run the risk of gel polish peeling. And we don't want that. Make sure you cap your free edge. Pop that into the lamp. I'm going to seal this with the Urban Graffiti Top Coat. This technique works best on the top of the top coat. I find a sharpie works nice because it is black. Some permanent markers have like a blue colour to them. So I do find a sharpie is black and it will fade to grey rather than fading with a blue tone to it. Some other permanent markers. Although good though they, are, though they are, they go a bit blue. Unless that's the effect that you want. I don't want that effect. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some of the gel residue soak off solution into a dampening dish you don't need a lot just a dribble then we're going to get a sharpie I thought that fit on maybe not and what we're going to do is just going to do a bit of a squiggle here yeah. and a bit of a squiggle here yeah. maybe just a little bit what you're going to do now is get an old brush that's a bit messed up, a bit, kind of a bit fluffy, anything that's old, don't throw those old brushes away. So we're going to dip the brush into the gel residue wipe off solution and touch into the sharpie. Start to make that move. And I just like to rub it to move it in the direction that I want it.
wait for that to dry, it'll take literally seconds to dry. And then we are going to top coat that with the Urban Graffiti top coat. It's the thinnest top coat that, that we stock. It's brilliant. It's nice and thin. And that's what we want because we're putting a few layers on. Now, you could just leave it like that, which would be absolutely beautiful, but we just want to make this a little bit more beautiful. Beautify. We're going to beautify it. And we're going to use the metallic gold, which is M008. And I'm going to pop, I mean a tiny bit, you don't need hardly any tiny bit. We're going to enhance the design. By that I mean we're going to sort of go with the design, adding a little bit of gold to it. So follow the flow of the pattern that you've created. This does work best on top of the Urban Graffiti top coat. It will go nice and shiny. And then just add it in places until you're happy with it. And then because we haven't added, you know, a great deal, there's only a small amount there. It will dry really quickly for you. I'm going to pop that into the lamp just so I know it's all completely dried. I'm going to seal this now with the Urban Graffiti Top Coat. Making sure I'm capping the edge. I'm going to finish this nail off with a bit of cuticle oil. I'm using the peach one. Let's have a bit of peach. For me little peach, JJ. <laughs> I'm going to rub that in all the way around. I love that. There you are guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It is really super easy to do. You don't need a whole heap of products. You just need a few little items and off you go. They are create some marble effect with a little bit of metallic. Beautiful. Have a go. All the products we've used today are in the description box below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And guess what? I'll see you in the next video.